they're they're uh, they're hooked on by some clips, you know. And so I went down to look at it, you know, and and I I know these clips aren't meant to be holding people, you know what I mean? So it's, it was pretty dangerous, and and like doing the walkout wasn't what scared me. It was putting my trust into these little clips that I was about to, you know, put my life on, you know. So I kind of just like. I went down, I was like flashing with the light, kind of seeing how they were installed and and it was uh it was it was super risky, you know. It was it was crazy. I was I'm not going to lie, I was scared, you know, to put my put my life trust on on these little clips, but I I, I had it had to be done, so I had to risk it. When you're when you're taking your first steps on the ledge, what goes through your mind? Is are you are you are you talking to yourself? Are you saying don't look down, concentrate? Are you just trying to get the letter done? Um, yeah, I was telling myself like, like just, just fucking focus on 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 what you have to do, because yeah, like these clips like I had I had no trust in them, you know. So it was it was super sketch. Man, instead of painting a letter for each floor, does it ever go through your mind just to paint your whole name on one floor across? Uh, no, that never crossed my mind because I I wanted to go big coming downward so i know that anybody can just walk across you know what i mean but doing the roller coming down like that you know what i mean it i mean especially that high has never been done how long does it take to complete the first s um it took me probably like if i can remember probably like a good hour or so when you're done with the s what do you think about it how do you check it out are you just going off uh is someone telling you downstairs okay you're done um, so the, the only, I had two, two different views I was able to get. One was just like from the angle of, you know, from right here. And then as I was walking around and taking a break, I noticed that from the windows, from the inside, I was able to see areas that I didn't paint, you know? So I was able to come back and then finish, but there was like these, um, where the window was at, there was like these panels that, that came out. <clears throat> so my stick from the angle, I couldn't get right behind it. So... There's some areas that look like the S is on, like it's not finished or I ran out of paint, but it's because I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get there. Does anything dramatic happen when you paint the rest of your letters? Does everything go smoothly? Do you encounter any unexpected issues with the rest of your letters? Uh, no, I think just getting to the E and, and realizing that I'm going to have to walk out, that was probably <laughs> the biggest change. Was there anyone... Were there other riders walking in on you to check for their own spot? Were people bumping into you trying to catch their own spot? Um, there was one guy that was walking around catching tags on, on the floor I was on, and he happened to get a, a pretty dope video of me while I was standing on the, on the steel rope wire at the edge of the building trying to get the top of my S. So he caught a little video clip of that one. That was pretty dope. When you're all done and finished, and you complete your M and get back inside the building, how do you feel? Is it, is it joy? Is it relief? What do you feel? Um, what are your immediate thoughts? Um, I, felt, I felt happy to finish <laughs> and still be alive, you know? Because yeah, walking out that ledge was, was pretty crazy. And while I was finishing the M, um, it was crazy because uh, someone walked out on the door of the balcony where I was on. And it happened to be uh, that Fusat. He was, I guess, when I had started, he came right after me and then he started. So we were both painting on the floors, you know. But since I started first and then by the time I was to my A, he started. So we met when I was doing my M and he was doing his E. So it was pretty crazy. Do you guys speak? Does he give you a shout out? Did yeah. he know it was you? Uh, yeah, at first, like, you know, I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, what's up, you know? So, and then he was like, what, scheme? Like, I guess he recognized my voice. So then we started chatting, you know? So,